Hey guys, Greg here from the Sports Sense with your week 11 picks for the NFL main slate, Daily Fantasy. Let's get into it. I got a quarterback, running back, few wide receivers, tight end, and defense for you today. First one up is Brock Purdy at the quarterback position. So you're thinking Brock Purdy out of all the options? Yeah, Purdy is consistent. He has shown he can be consistent. He gets in that 20 point range on a regular basis. And he's 6,600 on DraftKings. Guys like Mahomes, Allen are all going to be a lot higher cost. Going to give you a similar stat line. So I'm going to go with the guy that's going to save me a little bit of money. Get me the same basic production in Purdy. Next up, running backs. There's a whole slate of running backs you can go with. You can go with McCaffrey. You can go with Kamara. I'm going with a guy that's probably not on many people's radar, and that is Travis Etienne Jr. Now, you might be thinking, he hasn't had a great season. He hasn't. You're right. He also got delegated back to kind of like a co-lead back. But Tank Bigsby is out today for the Jags, which means Etienne Jr. is going to be in there for rushing and passing downs more often than not. So against a Detroit defense that is decent, especially against the run, uh, expect to see Etienne still get some good yardage rushing, but also he's going to be a big key part in the receiving game, I believe. With Mac Jones back there, he's going to be looking to dish it off when he can. And Etienne Jr. is going to be the beneficiary of that. So that's where I'm going with the running back position. Then we go over to wide receivers. First one up, kind of a long shot to get big points, but if he can get 7-8 like he's projected, good value is Kayshawn Booty from, or Boutte, however you say it, from the Patriots. He's 3,500. You're not going to find a lot of guys down in that price range that could get you two or three points. He is projected to get around eight points. So they're going against the Rams defense. That is not a top-notch team against the pass. Drake May has been using Booty a lot. So that's where the value is really going to be coming in. Again, 3,500. He allows you to really kind of expand that roster and get some higher pick guys. Another guy I'm targeting is Cortland Sutton. He's 5,900 for the Broncos. His last three games, he's been putting up big numbers. He has just around under 20 catches or around 20 catches in the last three games total. And he is being looked at more and more by Bo Nix as the true number one guy, like he's supposed to be. So that's good news going with Sutton. 5,900, like I said. Then tight end position. We all know tight end, kind of hit or miss. I'm going with Jonu Smith for the Dolphins. He has been consistent for Tua. He has been kind of a safety blanket. Again, he's in that 3,000 range. He's 3,800. Gives you flexibility. And he could get a touchdown. He could get a few catches, four or five catches, and decent chunk yardage just like most tight ends are going to get for you this week. And the last but not least, the defense I'm going with is the Dolphins' defense. They have a very good secondary. Their defensive line can be good, and they're going against the Raiders. That's all I really need to say. Those are the picks, though. Catch me back for Sunday Night Football for more picks for showdown mode, and good luck to everyone.